Is it working? Is it working? Hello, and welcome to Comic Island. Oh, wait, no, we're not on Comic Island. Hello, and welcome to Art and DeMarco. <laughs> Remember the one thing you told me not to do was eat while we do this? Oh, that's okay. I totally just put chocolate in my mouth. Sorry, buddy. It's a force of habit, and it doesn't help that I have some candy here. Well, and know, I went f four seconds, though, doing this properly. Uh, four, four seconds? Well, until I put the chocolate in my mouth, and then I oh, remembered. I well, it's been, a, it's been a while, YouTube, since we've done something like this, but uh, we've just decided to go ahead and do them. Uh, the nice thing is, in the, the earlier videos, for those of you who are going to bother watching those, um, we... So Two assume, people, nobody. Yeah, two, nobody. So to nobody, uh, we were your assume, mom and probably some unemployed person you haven't seen since high school. Well, people are gonna go back and watch them now that we've called it. If people are watching this, but nobody's watching this either. So um, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah. <laughs> but we we kind of weren't sure where this video these videos were gonna go, so we thought we were on Comic Island, but now we aren't, and we're going to be here instead, which. Is kind of cool. We're free agents. Free agents. So there's two benefits to that. One, we're no longer secret agents. Bound to talking about comics and only comic stuff. Um, so this is just going to kind of be two friends hanging out, playing a game, and talking about. I'm not your friend. Random shit. Yeah. And that gets into the other thing that's going to be fun. Is this is completely uncensored. So this is not a let's play for children. Isn't you can it? say shit or fuck. Or penis. Or vagina. Or the worst word of all. <laughs> Evolution. Evolution. Yeah. Well, for those of you who don't know, we live in uh, the the uh, world of Canada. <laughs> the great white north. So that's not exactly um, entirely true. And we don't even live in the Texas of Canada. So no, pretty thank much God. Just run out into the middle of the streets and shout evolution and everyone will just think we're really weird. People will be like, oh, you're talking about third grade science. Neat. You're normal. <laughs> Go back inside. So, yes, this is probably going to be a slightly more politically charged series of videos. And by that, I don't mean we're here. Not, we're not really here to... <laughs> like change the world or anything like that um but we are uh we are unconfined to share our opinions and if you don't like them the the comments section is there for you to disagree loudly and we are sure to care so and we are much. sure to probably not read it oh i'll probably read them out of curiosity because i got those notifications anyways but uh eh. yeah, i'll hear about them <laughs> you think me. i'm not used to youtube comments by now uh, that's that's a whole experience i could make videos on that and i probably will one day <laughs> hey did you hear lazy americanos uh, have uh started doing something about their guns apparently i have actually um before we uh were talking on skype that was the youtube video i was watching was uh they were talking about obama's speech it's pretty moving i don't know if you've seen it uh no i haven't actually it's very it's very real. Like it feels like he's really talking, and he like pauses at, at times to like, like cry. He chokes up, and uh, <laughs> he pauses to cry. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't know. It sounded funny the way you phrased it. It, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's very heartfelt, and of course, the response from Fox News was just like it hurt to watch. They're like, oh, he didn't cry this way for Paris and all this stuff. And, yeah, 9-11 in Benghazi. <laughs> Our president's not crying enough. Our of president course, doesn't cry enough. Now he cries too much. That's what I was going to say. Like, if he actually did start doing that, then he'd be weak. And, like, Democrats aren't supposed to cry because... Yeah, next thing you know, the United States is going to turn to Socialist Canada. Yeah, Socialist Canada. Uh, the amount of times I heard that stuff uh, during our election last year, that was... That was fun. Someone pointed out to me, or maybe it was the radio, after uh, the provincial election that the premier sexuality, like being gay, didn't come up once. And then somebody mentioned it on the radio, and they were like, oh, yeah, I guess that would be an issue in the United States. 
That was pretty much my reaction when someone mentioned that to me. It didn't even occur to me until after the election. And you know, like I forget about it all the time. I honestly, up until you mentioned it, I was like, oh yeah, we have yeah, a, it's just a such a pri- uh, premier, a non-starter. It's like okay, and that guy's got grass on his lawn. And to be fair, I'm pretty sure there's an American governor who's like lesbian or gay or something. Oh, and probably it's not a big deal at all. That's good. But that wouldn't obviously happen in any state. In any state, <laughs> um, that's for sure. Uh, Though, I'm not sure if there's a province that would it would be an issue in. I could see that in some of them. Like Maybe Alberta. like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny how we both went there. Or Saskatchewan. Yeah. Well, Saskatchewan is probably pretty similar to Alberta. Just with they less are. cowboys. They're not entirely. They're a little more liberal because it's Canada. <laughs> um, the fact that there's anywhere that's conservative is weird. Get out of here, Tyrand. You're Muradin, right? I uh, sure am. Oh, I suppose we can acknowledge that we're playing Heroes of the Storm again. Oh yeah, we're playing Heroes of the Storm. Because we love this game. It's our favorite. <laughs> if they wanted to sponsor two te- people who are really bad at it, they could sponsor us. And then we could have a free subscription. Yeah, a free subscription to a free game. Maybe they'll give us special uh, special skins. Maybe they would make a Muradin skin that looks like you. And then I could play as you. Meanwhile, um, we know for a fact there are many other bigger channels and stuff out there that definitely yeah, cover this. Yeah, but they don't have Arden from Comic Island. Or like Twitch streams and all that. My cousin does that, apparently. I oh, am. Yeah. And you know, I'd say it's surprising that people can like get away with just like playing this game professionally and that's how they make their money. But I'm really not one to talk, am I? <laughs> you really aren't! Like that's just the world we live in now. Although it's not like, I don't know. It's not like talking about comic books hasn't been a job for a very long time. It's just now you can do that from the comfort of your own home. Yes. Instead of under the auspices in your underwear. of... Like you often do, <laughs> breathing heavily over pictures of children. Now, I recall you saying you wouldn't infer... <laughs> I love how quiet you went there for a second. Oh, I was taking a swig of wine. <laughs> oh, sure. But, um... Damn, I've been caught. I was going to say, I recall how you were going to say you weren't going to infer I was a pedophile in these videos, but... That's, oh, right. That's okay. <laughs> so now I've broken both my promises. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh well, this is a disaster already. It's about as uh, professional as I uh, wanted it to be, so... Yes, more and more people are tuning out by the minute. And I'm attacking a hologram, because I'm a moron. Uh, it, can, it can be a tricky, tricky little Nova sometimes. Body block you, motherfucker! Yeah, it's nice being able to do that. Body block or swear on a podcast? Swear on a podcast. <laughs> uh-uh. I like body blocking too. Body blocking's great. As a body break! You remember body break? I don't. I don't I'm not even sure what that is. It was ah, oh, god damn it. I just did the stupidest leap and got my ass kicked by three of them. Um It was like an old eighties, nineties. 90s TV like commercial thing that would like be like all right get up and exercise and show you like some exercise you can do and It was just I don't know it was weird hmm. Can't say I've heard of that it's not really Hey, I heard that the X-Files is coming back. You have heard correctly. I do With believe that it's David happening. With and Jillian Anderson. Yep. I- I'm pretty sure just they've uh... Anderson who knows I don't know I'm not friends with her and like, as far as I can tell, that is definitely happening. No, it for sure is. Yeah. I saw bobbleheads in the store the other day. The merchandising has started. They got a lot to catch up on with Star Wars and all, but... I don't know if anyone can compete with that. No. Nobody. That movie was awesome. Oh yeah, you have seen it now. It is so I good. Have. And I'm just gonna pop open a nice little spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't seen it so we can talk about it a little bit. 
Star um, Wars. I. Well, okay. I it, it's still my third favorite Star Wars movie. I don't know where you kind of mentally rank it or if you've thought about it. Like I would have to see it more times probably to rank it fairly. But I really. That's enjoy kind of it. what I thought about that too. It's a little hard to tell right now. But, it's uh, the best not original Star Wars film, hands down, that's for sure. Like, and, I don't uh, think anything in that pre well, I know nothing in that prequel trilogy compares to it. No, and people are like, oh, well, it had cool Star Wars, like, or not Star Wars, lightsaber fights and all that. Um, which, no, you know what, that isn't even true. That lightsaber fight in The Force Awakens is very simple. It's basically them just fighting in the woods, and it feels raw and emotional, and works better than any of the crap I saw in the uh, third movie, or, like third movie or any of the. Oh movies. yeah. Ugh. One two. Oh, one, I'm Anakin. I'm depressed. Oh god, that last fight too is what I was thinking. Mostly. I saw a, de the one a in the depressed volcano planet. Darth Vader tweet the other day that said, uh, "My best friend cut off my arms and legs. My wife betrayed me, but at least my grandson likes me." <laughs> My that's that's hilarious. My favorite thing I've seen recently is uh, there's this guy, and it's actually a really old YouTube video, but I only just saw it, uh, where he replaces Darth Vader's voice with the child Anakin from the first like Phantom Menace. Yep. Oh my God, it's hilarious. I think I s might have passed that on something the other day. Yeah. You might have seen. I quoted on Facebook, so you might have seen it. There. That must have been where I passed it. And. Um, Oh my, from my god, it's so good. Like, there's, when they're in the Death Star, he's like, now this is pod racing! And, uh, <laughs> they kept a lot of the original dialogue, so like his underlings will be like, Lord Vader, and he's like rambling on about podcasting. Or, oh, podcasting that kid, about I don't even know his name. Jake racing. something, I think. He was just the worst. You were very close, actually. It's Jake Lloyd. I happened to see that the other day. So I, oh. I know that. He, I wonder uh, what he does now. Like, if he gets beaten up on a daily basis, if like people walk past him on the street and are like, uh, Fuck you, man. This is what I was checking on the thing, and he retired from acting. And, Good. Thank God. Uh, says that Star Wars kind of ruined his life, which I kind of believe. And felt Probably. Bad Everyone found out how whiny he was. Well, you or, know what's funny is he's been in a lot of other movies, like Apollo 11, and then fine. <laughs> like, it's a what's lot Apollo of... Apollo 11? Uh, Apollo 13, maybe? The big movie, the one by Ron Howard. And, oh, it must be Apollo 13. Yeah, okay. Was he a kid in that movie? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. It was just, it was before Star uh, Phantom Menace, so he was oh. young. He's probably oh, one of the uh, astronaut kids engine? or something. Hmm? Maybe he was on the ship. Who knows? Maybe that's why it crashed. <laughs> yeah. Now this is pod you racing. Can't put kids on ship. <laughs> yeah. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> can't put kids on a ship. It's just dumb. No wonder the thing crashed. They deserved <laughs> it. Those. That real story. Speaking of uh, other space things, I actually just watched Interstellar last night. How was that? Uh, okay. <laughs> Passable. <laughs> not Passable. As, not as good as I hoped, but not like awful. Yeah, I figured it wasn't that great when one of my hippie friends was telling me how wonderful it was, and I was like, ah, I think you just did drugs before you watched this. What I wanted to see, but we couldn't get a hold of, was uh, The Martian. That, yeah, that sounds way better. This was kind of like, well, it's by the guy who did the like Batman, the newer Batman movies. It's like newer Batman movies. Um, what's his face? Christopher Nolan. Yeah, that's his name. Um, so it reads a lot like that. Okay. It's hard to describe, but it feels a lot like a Dark Knight movie or something, but in space. Is Matthew McConaughey really annoying? No, he makes for a very good, compelling main character. Okay. I find he's either good or he's playing like the chick magnet and he's just awful. No, everyone does fine. Usually when he's in a movie, I have like a 10 minute rule with him. And if in the okay. first 10 minutes he takes his shirt off, it's probably going to be a shitty movie. I don't believe he ever takes his shirt off. There you go. It's probably a good movie then. Yeah. He's not a bad actor. He just does like those chick flick roles, I guess, for money or maybe he enjoys it. Who knows? I'm not judging him. Yeah. I, I don't Right, just for it's a calculation, right? <laughs> right that's, I hope that's he just saw expanding. Artanis get destroyed. Yeah, he killed me, so I feel vind vindicted. Good, oh, get that on film. I did actually. I found Nova. I, I'm filming you right now. And it's, you're oh, you're killing her. your hologram. <laughs> I thought that was her because my hammer hit it. But 
But uh, yeah, so Star Wars is great, Interstellar, less so. But yeah, there's there's so much I like about that Star Wars movie. It's so, excellent. Yeah, I totally derailed us from that, but uh, whatever. Yeah, so it's much great. Wrong with the people. But there's like, cause with Return is what I feel that also beats like Return of the Jedi, and that's mostly because of the Ewoks. They, oh, yeah. They annoy me in a very specific way. I feel way. you. Because there's a lot that's great about Return of the Jedi. But there's a lot that's great the about Ewoks Force are not a great thing about that. Yeah, there is. And right. you know what? My expectations for Force Awakens were rock bottom. So I was very pleasantly surprised. I felt like I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. You know what I mean? Like it didn't slow down. Yeah, it didn't. Even when it's like going on to the quiet little... I almost called it Tatooine Jakku. Uh, and it's kind of just doing... Oh god damn it. No, but... Oh nice, Rhaegar. My only real complaint of... I wasn't a huge fan of the ending. I mean, I like it, I like how it sets it up, but I mean like... I would have liked a harder cliffhanger. You know what I mean? Like, it's obviously a cliffhanger yeah. in the sense of what's gonna happen next, but... Like, I would have liked a harder cliffhanger. There is a lot wrong with having another Death Star, a bigger Death Star too. Yeah, um, that was one thing I was a little, like, seriously... And then there was literally a line in it where it's like, it's not a Death Star, it's a... Whatever, and I was like, "Did that line really just happen?" Yeah, and that have... was. But if that's your biggest complaint, they did another Death Star. You know what I mean? It oh, could yeah. be worse. No, it's Star it's... Wars. It's what they freaking I do. In comparison, there's a lot to like, and like you said, if that's my one complaint, it's not a huge one. But I was thinking that like, you could have gotten rid of that thing entirely, and the whole movie would have ranked through okay. Yeah. Yep. They would have I had a like reason that. to still uh, rescue Rey, I think. Uh, it's pretty self-justified on its own, so they could have yep. just gone to an Imperial base. The whole thing was barely in it, so you could have just skipped a few scenes here and there, and it wouldn't have taken anything away, and it's a great movie otherwise. And I feel like this the uh, whole so. killing of the solar planet system, whatever thing, was not that crucial to the plot. Like No. You know I what I mean? I think it's kind of implied that the um, that that was Coruscant being destroyed, and so oh, the really? government was being wiped out with that. Yeah, I don't understand how the government operates in relation to this first order and stuff. Like, is it supposed to be like the Nazi Party in the sense of it's related to the government, but kind of subs like uh, what do you call it? It is. It's I, I the impression I got, which I later found out was the correct one, was uh, it's like. There's a there's a republic government that took over after um, the Imperials fell, and what was okay. left of the Imperials, because you know they just another Death Star got blown up. They still had all those ships and stuff. Was uh, they became the First Order, and when the First Order started like consolidating power and kind of making their presence a little more known, they formed this kind of resistance to combat them without like gotcha. involving the government. Okay, that makes more sense now. Which kind of fits, but I'm pretty sure the the Republic or the government, or like whatever you want to think of them as, uh, kind of got wiped out. Yeah, I'm not sure. That, right. That seemed to be the implication. But you know, something I appreciate is it wasn't really the central plot of this story, anyways. Which was cool. So there was the politics going on, but they didn't make it like the prequels, where they were obsessing over it and trade treaties and <laughs> all of that, nonsense. and it made no sense. You know what? I, you know what I can't wait for is to find out who Ray's parents are. Yeah, that's yeah. My only hope is that they don't go for the obvious thing, and it's um, their brother and sister. Who's that? Uh, uh, Kylo, Ren? Kylo Ren. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. The other thing that I think a lot of people think is that it's Luke's kid, but I'm really hoping they go for something farther than that. Like I've heard stories like that. Luke's kid could... wouldn't bother me. I will say that. It wouldn't it bother obvious, me, but, but I feel like it's too obvious. Yeah. Like, I've heard theories uh, where she's Obi-Wan Kenobi's kid. Yeah, I've heard that too. I like a lot. That's I've a heard... much more interesting thing, that's for sure. I read one crazy theory that I don't think it would be, but would be awesome, where she's Anakin Skywalker reincarnated, because, like, so much of his story is, like, a classic tragedy, Jesus, hero, redemption, all that yeah. kind of thing. It's so kind of it... cool, but I really hope that's and, not the case. <laughs> well, the idea, too, is that he's reincarnated through the Force because, like, he's embodied with the Force, and it flows with that concept that they seem to get obsessed with of talking to each other and coming back after they die. That's true. So um, the other theory you know, it'd be is cool that if, like... when Kylo Ren goes to read his mind and gets pushed away, he realizes who it is, and that's why he wants to, like, train him back up. Oh, yeah. It just occurred to me it would be very cool if you get to see Anakin as a ghost. 
Um, I was wondering about that if he would Luke's possibly him around, and there's no reason that like him and Obi Wan wouldn't show up. They probably wouldn't do Obi Wan because that actor is long gone. But Anakin is. You know what though? They could probably CGI him or something. Like they got technology. They, they they did. Alec Guinness, the guy who played the Obi Wan in the first three movies, uh, has a small vocal cameo. And yes, he kind, does. It's and that's cool. part of the theory that she's Ben Kenobi's kid. Yeah, and it's kind of cool too because they took his voice saying afraid and they got him to say ray so he says her name which i thought was kind of neat very that small you can't even hear it really like well i'm sure you can if you're listening for it but i should have yeah. noticed that when i'm sitting in the theater we were like the third or fourth row into the theater too so we were looking up in a lot of ways and it's oh i hate cool. that I, it was one of those things where we talked about it it was boxing day and we were like yeah, like, yeah. me and my sisters went to see it and uh just kind of agreed. I took Rachel to see the Hunger Games when it came out, and it was the same situation. We got there late, and we were sitting like two rows back, and it was terrible. I just ended up falling asleep. I have but not seen I'm not the Hunger Games for me, so. Fair enough. I um, I've seen the first two Hunger Games. They weren't terrible. They were. They're, they're not awful. I just never remember what's happening and don't I really still care. I haven't gotten around not to seeing the, the uh, thir three and four, especially three. I hear it's boring and just like it does that thing where it's splitting a book up into two parts, but there's no, yeah, the, no reason to. I I think I saw two and both parts of three. Okay. And two was cool. The first part of three though is like all the setup for the ending, which is two. Like part two of four, whatever. Yeah. So that one was pretty cool though, because it's like all the like final bullshit going on. Yeah, that would be a little more interesting. But I really not looking forward, or even not interested in watching uh, it. And that's the thing, right? Like if it wasn't for Rachel, I wouldn't have seen it. I do like the message behind it though. I think that's yeah, great. that's cool too. You know, like, it's one of its uh, redeeming features. You compare it to something like Twilight, and it's like, well, you know, it's not for me, but I'm glad it's for somebody else. Like, I'm glad it's yep. for all these young people who are going to take away the right messages out of it and all that. Absolutely. It's pretty unabashed in uh, its values and all that stuff. And, it was yeah. leftist libtard bullshit. That's what it was. Yeah. You know, all the, thing, <laughs> all the things that our American ivory tower Canadians love. You know, from what it's called, like reversing from our roles. land that was recent, recently liberated from fascist dictatorship. Well, I'm pretty sure Canada is the nuclear wasteland of Hunger Games, so I don't know what to make of that, but at least uh, no, we're basically it shows how accepting we are. Oh, I feel like Abatha is around here somewhere. Oh, this silly little spawning thing is. Oh, his locust nest? Yeah, I noticed he had a lot of those things going for him. I didn't realize they were level 20. Kind of been ignoring this game as we talk about it. more interesting stuff, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it also makes me very excited for uh, Rogue One is the next movie to come out. And yeah, was, which is good and bad. I would have rather just had the core trilogy come out and yes. then worry about that shit, but I understand for marketing why they didn't. Oh, yeah. Makes a lot of sense, right? And then, um... One thing I really like about it is uh, they can't rip off their own Star Wars, like the old movies anymore. You can't just keep doing that. <laughs> so it's probably going to be a little more different, a little more interesting. Oh, no, this one, the next one's going to start on a snow planet. Oh, okay. And they're going to be under attack, but it's not going to be by walkers. It's going to be by ships that fly close to the ground. Well, as people have pointed out, they've, they've done so much from the first, like the original trilogy in yep. that one movie that it would be hard to retread a lot. Like they're probably gonna start carving out new ground as they go. Because... I wanna know the burning question that's on everyone's mind. Yeah. Where did C three PO get his new arm? Oh yeah. I I love You probably him. don't recognize me with a red arm. Yeah. I loved him in this movie. I, he was because he wasn't in there a lot, but he had the best part. And someone pointed out like he just keeps clock blocking hand solo. Like <laughs> And the other thing I liked too was um, I thought the new robot BB-8 was gonna be awful and just like a marketing ploy for Disney to sell things to children. But I actually thought he was really good and his humor was good too. Oh, he's so funny. I love. There's a scene where he's going down the stairs and each step he just looks down, his little camera, yeah, and then rolls down it and then looks down and she's having this big dramatic speech and all I can do is watch this little robot do this thing. 
I like when he gave man. shit the thumbs up with the lighter too. That's that's kind of slapstick comedy, but I still thought it was good. Oh, it was so funny. Um, God. I'm trying to hurt the Nova just sneaks up on me and kablooey. Well, well, I'm having a terrible game because I'm talking to you on this podcast. Yeah, me too. But if people didn't want to watch us play terribly and oh, I got some good siege damage. I mean, no Abba there, but... Yeah. So, remember that uh, high school kid that worked at my work this summer? Mm -hmm. He, uh... And then remember, he got let go because it's just, like, slower for the winter now and stuff. We don't need him. So, uh... He's writing this essay for school, like, a couple weeks after he gets let go. So, you know, he's obviously a little bummed out because he's unemployed. Yeah. Um, he's writing this essay for school. It's supposed to be, uh, what would you do if you won a million dollars? And, like, you have to explain it all and how you'd spend your money and stuff. Okay. And so he writes about how he's going to blow it all on uh, hookers, cocaine, booze, like this shit. <laughs> I swear to God, I heard this from his dad today. And uh, so the school kicked him out. Oh. So literally he gets so. let go from his job, then he gets kicked out of high school, so now he's going to that uh, adult education center downtown, which is honestly probably better for him, but... I... <laughs> what would you spend a million dollars on? Hookers, cocaine, and booze. I mean, it's a little extreme to kick him out of school for that, but... I thought so too, but... I also thought, how much of a dummy can you be? We won! Oh, wait. <laughs> that says win if you read it backwards. It does. Ta fed. T fed. Which We're going to feed you tea. Well, it's Tay fed. Thai. Thai fed. Oh, Thai food. Okay. We went Thai food. <laughs> oh, that guy. Or if you rearrange defeated, you can get defeated. Defeated. <laughs> That's not right, but. <laughs> Anyways, Arden, I must sign off because uh, I need to catch some Z's. Fair enough. I... How long have we been do talking? Um, 27 minutes. Yeah. I might We're even... testing the waters with this We're one. We're testing the waters. That's, that's this not This is our bad. snack size sample. Try it out, kids. Come back for more. More powerful dosage. Yeah. Um, I think that was a good conversation. We talked about nothing we planned, but uh, we had a fun conversation about Star Wars, which was, to be honest, I, I'm kind of glad we did that because I never really talked about it on the channel. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. The nice thing is that we're also not really bound by schedule, so Hurrah! who knows when we'll put this up. But my guess is soon. We, we play this game a lot, you guys, so I would just... Uh, if you like it, let us know and we'll do it. <laughs> People did, the like, few, either way. The few, like the small little murmurings of uh, views we got, people did say they liked it. They would like Excellent. to see more. So that's something. Especially not of you Especially and your body. <laughs> they want to see more of your body, eh? Um, all of the time. That's why I Maybe got it. you could set your YouTube photo to a nude. I, I did get a new webcam, and uh, I am going to be trying nude. it out pretty soon. I used it for... <laughs> For other stuff uh, recently, like for he's downloaded for, Tinder and he's got a webcam. Yeah. Anyways, we should sign off because I'm sure it's extremely boring to sit here and just watch our characters stare blankly into the space. They can watch Savannah's dance. I hope you're spinning the character side to side because I can't see it on my screen. Oh, I definitely am. <laughs> All right, that seems as good a note to end anything. So if you like this video, you can like like it uh, subscribe to the channel or go fuck yourself because i don't care either way hey keep playing heroes island. of the store this is not comic island <laughs>